do a, a whole. I'm gonna test the water on this. This is a salt water pool. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use a five in one test kit. We're gonna do the whole, all five of them, and I'm try to so fill up the vials to the recommended. Five drops of yellow. One, two, three, four, five. As you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a nice yellow color. Let's see if I can get that in there. It's like an almost like an amber. Pretty nice dark. You know you got a pretty good residual there. When it's a little bit darker, I usually use a neutralizer on the pH. Want to make sure that we get a good reading from my dye. Pour that back in, that's all good. Shake the other one up as we do that, and we put five drops of the pH indicator. One, two, three, four, five. Go ahead and shake it up. You can see it's, it's a little bit on the dark side. I don't know if that helps you. It's darker. I try to go for a pink, that's more of a purple. I don't know if that even. On the lower end of the scale here, 7.2, 7.4. So we're going to see what we're doing with these white drops to see how much, if I add one drop of acid, or one drop, it lets us know how much acid to add. So that's one drop. Two drops. And with two drops, I get like almost a perfect shade, uh, probably like 7.2, 7.4. It's a lot better. It's not purple. It's not violet or anything, whatever color that you might, that you say is purple. <laughs> anyway, so I know that two drops, and I pull this size. Two drops are about two quarts, about a quart and a half, two quarts. Uh, this is not an exact science. Very. Uh, approximate but after a few years of doing this you can go by this chart it says two drops and of 20 15,000 is one and a half pints which is not a quart but I usually put about a quart and a half to get the desired changes and because this is a salt pool and the pH keeps climbing we're gonna do like a preventative it's not gonna do anything uh, we don't want to knock the pH into us too low Okay, but usually that's pretty good with the alkalinity that I keep. Okay. So that's how you find out how much acid you need to put in the pool. Then we're going to do an alkalinity test. Go ahead and put in one drop of neutralizer. Some guys use it, some guys don't. I do two drops of the blue, it's the alkalinity indicator dye. Alkalinity test dye swirl it around and we're going to use the white cap to count the drops. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. It's 50 parts per million, 60, 70, 80 parts per million, gold, purple, 90, 100, 10, 20, 120. Turn into like a clear uh, clear or like maybe a slightly yellowish tint it has nothing to do with this here with these colors here so it, on the alpha energy tester you're just going for a clear color but I put in 12 drops that means alpha energy got about 120 that's where I like to keep it um, some guys prefer about 80 but I do I, I 120 and that's that so uh, this this water is looking pretty good as far as using a five-in-one test tube. So all I have to do is add about mm, about a quart and a half, two quarts, probably a quart and a half uh, quart somewhere in there. And then uh, what happens is after so many times that you treat your pool, you're gonna find out that two drops is about this much because the next time you come and test it, you'll know whether you overdosed it or underdosed it. Now, if you have a salt pool, you got to remember your pH is going to continue to climb just because of the salt production. In the winter, in colder climates, um, you may even be able to turn off, I mean, turn your salt chlorinator all the way down. 
and we'll still remain chlorinated uh, because of the coolness of the water. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, burn out as fast, but out here in Palm Springs area, when it's 115, uh, you got to crank that thing up, keep your uh, pool stabilized, uh, just uh, stay on top of things, make everything easy. Okay, thanks for watching.